this. The, no, I think we talked about it a little bit. Like now he's trying to pretend that he wrote that song about the uh, like, oh, that's about the Republicans and the Democrats. That's about the Republican Party. I don't, I don't like either party. And it's like, yeah, then why'd you make fun of fat people and welfare? And uh, that's not exactly a taking shots at the uh, at the aristocracy, pal. You know what? That's the whole idea. That's why everybody was like, this is so inauthentic country such inauthentic country music right if you go back you know i always say one of my favorite lines is that they're you know the work the music of the working class is like country music and hip-hop right i used to be married to the line that only hip-hop was the fucking music of the working class but old country and now the rebirth of like outlaw country americana kind of sound i think really restored my faith in that you know because it was like after you know you get to the point where it's like yeah i don't really want to listen to like woody guthrie or like hank williams like all the time right because that's like a very specific 1930s country sound right so it's nice to have the more modern stuff. Anyway, long story short, all that's about how I'm going to f- kill the sheriff, run him out of town. Like, you know, uh, you know, uh, like uh, f- the man he's, you know, for every you know dollar he makes, I make a dime, all that kind of shit. Right. Um, anyway, Oliver Anthony, you can tell he's a crook. You can tell somebody is a crook and not a member of the working class if, if they just immediately start taking shots at like welfare recipients. It's like, oh, you've yeah. never struggled in your f- life, pal. I just don't get how he like in any way expected his lyrics to be taken as anything but what they obviously are. Like if you're looking at these lyrics, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. How the fuck are people going to interpret that in any other way as a diss towards fat people on welfare? Uh, So like I said the other day, I'm glad that he's coming out here and, you know, clearing the record and being like, I wasn't trying to insult people and I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm glad that he's making those statements, but I'm just like, how the fuck did you assume this would be interpreted? Cause it's very, very unambiguous. Yeah. Also, um, someone said you guys shit on the wrong people at times. I'm out, bro. Do you think we want to be talking about this fucking asshole and his stupid ass song? No, this song has been forced on the American public. It's basically a fucking, he's an industry plant. This whole shit is a fucking psyop. Uh, to create polarization and culture war. We're being forced to talk about this shit because we're being forced to hear about it. And the song isn't even good. So I don't even give a shit about the politics. I don't want to be talking about this song and this fucking musician because his art is not even good. His voice sucks. His lyrics are trash. He Pound, tries to... round, ground, down. Look at this. In the first fucking verse of the song, he says, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. He literally rhymes away with away That's in a the first fake move. five lo- in the first five fucking seconds of the song. Um, so yeah, sorry if I don't want to talk about this dog shit cliche song, which isn't even like like e- again, even if it didn't have the line about welfare and fat people, it's still not that groundbreaking. Like yeah, wages suck, everything sucks. Like yeah, it, it, life sucks, America sucks. I get it, it's true, but it's also not like some revolutionary fucking ballad for the downtrodden proletariat or whatever the fuck like it's just a generic shitty song i'm sorry okay.